I've said before in a different video that I prayed, um, I started praying and then exactly 30 days later, I got my prayer answered and it is, um, the result of me living in the house I'm in right now. <sighs> um, but now I find myself frustrated that I am asking for something on a bigger scale, on a, on a just as big scale. And I have to pray for 20 days, 30 days. And I'm like, why can't you just answer me, God? It's because he's not a genie. I do believe that there's bigger things and it does take more to navigate that thing toward yourself um, as you're working and operating. I, that is the, um, the works. The prayer is the faith. So like that's the formula for us praying to God. Not me waking up trying to take a walk, but then... I have gunk in my eyes. <laughs> um, me fr being frustrated and me being disgruntled is is such a recurring um, position of my heart lately that um, it keeps stalling me from even praying. It keeps stalling me from even worshiping. It keeps stalling me from even trying to um, hear someone and uh, lend them some some words of faith, just some scripture that I memorized, scripture that has helped me. And, and I'm aware of it. I'm a cognizant of it. And a lot of times when our faith is low, for those who are believers and know that Yahweh hears and answers us, that Yahweh, that we are here, um, uh, I, um, uh, to worship God. I, I, I remember do, um, the, the, thought that I had in my mind when I spoke about this particular su subject years ago and it was a ca caution um cautionary call out to myself in the future or to anyone that was listening at the time um because I couldn't relate but I um at the time but I had been there before sometimes expect an expectant heart can really muddle the waters for us to being grateful an expectant heart really eats away at our work our what we need to be doing for whatever it is that we're desiring sometimes an expectant heart can really cause us to um i want to say be be dis disrespectful or dishonor but for the most part it um has us having our hand out. God, just give me whatever it is I'm asking as though he's a genie. And it really, it really exposes who God is to us. <laughs> you're just the giver of my, of my prayers. You're the answer of my prayers. You're not my father or my friend. You are not my guide. You are not my sanity. You're not where my help comes from. You are not my my helper, my saver, savior, my protector. I I do believe there's a different, there's a way that I may act towards someone who's, let's say I had someone in my life that's just um, giving me all the bus, the tickets that you need to get on the bus. I had someone that's always paying my toll. I had someone that's always dropping off a week's worth of groceries and then um as opposed to a person who's who always comes by and they don't give me a thing tangibly but they pray with me they are always stopping in the moment and say let's pray about it and after they after we pray about it after i pray about it with that person then that person then I have finally feel as though I've given that situation over to God. I finally feel like that prayer point is in God's hands. I do believe I may, um, I don't know, I may or may not treat them differently. But I I believe right now my I have an attitude toward God. <laughs> and it is because of how my kids act toward me. Whenever I'm giving them something, I'll eat two pieces of candy because I don't have three. 
if I don't have enough for each of my kids, then they don't get it. Y'all just not getting those mini Snickers right now. But what is causing me to be so expectant? So like, if you don't do this, <laughs> I'm laughing, but that's where my heart is. If you don't do this, this is it. I'm, I'm done. I just like, who am I? What has given me that? Um, what has given me that? Let me pull an eyelash out. Audacity. What has given me that audacity to give God an ultimatum? <laughs> God, if you don't do this, then I'm not going to, you're not going to what? You're not going to do a, nothing for me like you wasn't doing before. I really need to do I really need to change where my heart is. And I'm not sure. Um, I think maybe worship may do it, but I can't get into worship because I'm so concerned about what it is I'm praying about. If I can just let that go. I need to pay my bills. I've taken on a new car and I need to pay my bills. And I can no longer worship because I'm constantly worried about my payments. <sighs> God knows. I'm worried. God knows. It eventually get taken care of, but I just have no evidence of it, of the possibility <laughs> of that happening right now. And this one last interview, the only reason why I won't submit this video interview interview is because they're asking again, just a job for me to wait on my body again. And I should just do it. It's just so I can pay off my car. I only need 3,000, 3,100. Um, that's a lot, but it's also little, you know, when you just, just got to get these paychecks, my second job paychecks will pay. It is very possible to pay that off if you get a second job. Very possible. I just don't want to break my back, but that's my problem. I mean, I'm in my way. I need to just go and break my back. It's a security job. I'll be standing. They're asking, can you lift and be standing and be paroling the area? I better do it. I better do it. And I'm going to respond. I just wish that I had a way to make. Who physically backbreaking jobs at a job that I really need to sit down and also be able to leave and be with my kids when they get out of school. But you know what? I'm asking for too much. So um, I'm going to apply to that job. I'm going to do the security job. It's just for a while. I just hope it's not little money. The less money, the longer I gotta be there, the harder it is. The longer it's gonna take to pay that three thousand one hundred off. But you know what? Just, just get over it. 